Welcome back. A family fighting for their son to be included at school, among other kids. This is an issue many students with disabilities face. And our Jacqueline Matter joins us live from Montgomery County with their efforts towards acceptance. Jacqueline. Well, Jim, Angie, middle school is never easy for anyone, and for many students, it can be difficult for them to find a place. But for Gabe Gottsman, who is autistic in non-speaking, it's even more difficult. That's why his parents encouraged him to join the cross-country team, which he loved up until now. Nicole Gottsman and Caroline Kiernan say trying to find a sense of normalcy for their 14-year-old autistic and non-speaking son, Gabe, isn't easy. When I opened up my email from the school, um, it said, oh, you know, anybody can try out for cross country. It's for everyone. And I thought, well, why shouldn't Gabe be able to do that? They were eager for him to join a sport and immediately Gabe was drawn to running. I think that just opened up like a whole new world for him. He got to be on a team with, you know, a lot of other kids with his peers. He got to wear a uniform. He always seemed really excited and happy. Um, during the meets. Good job. Can I have a high five? Last year's season went so well that Gabe's mom finally had hope her son would be just like any other kid on the team. I've been looking at videos and pictures of last year, and I want to cry because he was so happy. But that quickly changed this year when his teammates were no longer there to support him along the way. And this year, he looks like a lost, a lost soul. I feel as though the students, it's like he's invisible. Last year, Gabe's paraprofessional ran alongside him at every meet. But this year, she was unable to be by his side due to an injury. Gabe's parents asked the school to help find another solution, but the answer was either someone new each meet that Gabe's not familiar with or his mom. It is difficult to communicate when you don't know someone, when they don't know you, they don't know how you communicate. They're going to expect me to be that person for everything in the future, and it's not fair to him. I mean, he deserves to be able to be a part of a team. He deserves to go to school and have the same experience that everyone else is having without their parents there. Gabe even communicating to his parents how he feels. Gabe spells and he let us know that he felt there were no plans for him at school. He said he wants more support at school and he wants to learn new things. We are seeing that his mental health and social emotional well-being has taken a toll. Desperate to find a way for him to fit in. Inclusion is not just letting somebody be on a team, give them a jersey and, you know, let them tag along. That's not inclusion. Gabe's parents say they just want the same opportunities for him as other kids. What I would like to see is Gabe on a team like cross country where the kids really know him and they actually interact with him and it's not because they're being forced it's because they maybe they need to learn over time you know maybe they have zero experience with this but they need to learn and the school is supposed to teach them that we reached out to Montgomery County Public Schools to ask them about Gabe's situation as well as their inclusivity practices. They cited the core values of their athletic program, of which mentions their efforts to teach and reinforce several qualities that include equity and access. As for any further information on how they plan to integrate and help students like Gabe that may have special needs, they did not give us any further details on that. Back to you.